you doing here? I live here. No, I meant, what are you doing here now? I thought... What? Is, is Ford around? Why? Because he is late for the most important date of Langston's life. Bobby didn't blow off his date with Langston. I was here when he left the meter. When, like five minutes ago? No, like an hour ago at least. How could that be? I just left Capricorn. Ford wasn't there. Langston was all alone feeling totally stood up. Well, he definitely didn't stand her up. Oh, you know what? But he might have gotten sidetracked with all that stuff that happened. What happened? Oh, you weren't at the wedding. My cousin's wedding? Yeah. It came out that Jessica's dad messed with the paternity test and that Bobby's the father of Jessica's baby after all. Oh, my God! I know. I can't even believe Bobby's a dad. No, I, I can't believe that Jessica's dad could do something like that to her. That's completely controlling. I mean, not... I know what it's like to have a controlling dad, but... It's weird. I know. I mean, you're just, you're just going along, going about your business, and then, bam, something comes and changes your life forever. It's crazy. James, this is so huge. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get used to having a new brother, and now I'm an uncle. You're an uncle. I know. I know you'll be a great uncle. Thanks, Dara. I just hope... Uh, hope what? That with everything that's happened... It won't stop two people who are crazy about each other from being together tonight. You know, um, Langston and Ford. Right, and, and they're probably together by now anyway. Okay, well, um, I should get going. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, sorry, wait. What is it? You seemed weird the other day. I just want to make sure you're okay. I was worried about you. Well, it's because I just came from seeing Cole. I know. Ford told me. Ford told you? Yeah, it totally explained how you were feeling. I mean, I mean, I know how hard it is for you when you have to leave Cole. James, you don't understand. I... Never mind. Um, don't you have a date to get ready for? What date? Your Valentine's Day date with Michelle. Oh. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Star, I, hey, I, uh, listen, I want to be honest with you about me and Michelle. James, you don't owe me any explanations. You already told me that you moved on. No, no, wait, Star, that thing with Michelle, it's, it's... Hey, Danny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Star, I don't know what to do. You have to get here right now. Uh, okay, calm down. What's going on? Dad caught me and Nate together. We we're about to have sex, and... He, what? Oh, my God. Is, is Nate okay? I don't know. Dad said he wanted to talk to him alone. I'm scared of what he's gonna do. Okay, don't you worry about it. I will be right there. Well, what happened? I have to go to my dad's house right now. My dad caught Nate and Danny. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay, I'm coming with you. So thank God you're here. Oh my God. You can come into my house and take advantage of my daughter like that. No, I don't. Go, go, go. You're gonna be arrested. Dad, Dad, stop! Don't make the same mistake that you made with me. Don't. Dad, you let us go. Let him go now. Dad, nothing now. happened. Mr. Manning, get off Dad. of him. Nate is a good kid. He would never do anything. Never do what, huh? Stop. Never steal from me. Never get me accused of murder. Hey, that is not the point. The mistake I made with Cole, I made because of you. Because you were against our relationship. And I will never regret having hope, but you drove me to do something that I was not ready to do because you are out of control and irrational and completely overprotective. You made me make decisions that I was not ready to make, and now I am alone and miserable. Is that what you want for your other daughter? Mr. Manning, I respect you. Be quiet, Nate. You've done enough already. Get the hell out of here. Hey, Nate, I'm so sorry. Don't, it's not your fault. Come on, before Mr. Manning okay. changes his mind. How could you do this to me? It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. 
Well, thank you for staying calm and not letting things get too out of hand. Well, there's no reason for things to get out of hand, since Danielle's never going to see Nate again. And that is not a suggestion. That's an order. An order? An order? Danny, Danny, is this Danny, serious? No, no, I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Well, I don't know how you're gonna stop him. You really thought having sex in Danny's living room was a good idea? I told you her dad was supposed to be in New York the whole night. Well, clearly he wasn't, Nate. All right, just listen to me for a second, all right? What? You need to steer clear of Todd Manning. Just don't go anywhere near him. Todd Manning can't keep me and Danny apart. I won't let him. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Maybe you're right. I mean, he did make their lives a living hell, but he couldn't keep Star and Cole apart. If two people are meant to be together, nothing can keep them apart. 